Alright folks, so here's another video of um, how to replace the spare wheel hoist of a uh, 2012 Range Rover. I guess um, model year is 2006, so I think 2013 might pretty much be the same. But with mine, um, I had an issue with my uh, ether canister and in another video that I had and I showed how to get it done but um, when I had to get to that canister I had to take the spare wheel off the spare wheel was actually you first have to get in the trunk um, if you have a cover obviously take the cover off there is this <clears throat> um, compartment as well that's got to be lifted you have the jack there now you're gonna see this big bolts down here right um, this is actually the mechanism for your, your hoist so you take this tool which hopefully you do have as part of your toolkit and it already has a pre-built in socket that goes on there and basically the way you let the tire down is I believe it's uh, counterclockwise and to jack it up is clockwise but either way you're gonna you're gonna tell once you start spinning that you're gonna see the uh, the tire actually coming down all the way it's released gradually and it sits onto the ground so my issue was once I had it down and I got to my purge canister which is above the spare tire um, I started jacking up the tire and I heard a couple of clicks about halfway up and it wouldn't move so uh, it pretty much was kaput so uh, what I ordered it uh, online um, I would say on Amazon and I got it for 49 bucks other places were selling them for 80 bucks 90 bucks used and I think a new one is close to about 200 bucks so um, I got that and I'm setting that up now so pretty simple I'm gonna show you how it's set up so once you, obviously the new ones comes in the box, I already took it out of the box, it's a box there, just came in, Amazon just dropped it off 30 minutes ago, I had the car up on the lift already anyway, so I'm going to show you, there we go, so this is the bottom, so that's the new hoist, right, it's held by four screws, 10 millimeter nuts, take that out, um, there's a spool in here, that's what went bad, and that's the cable. So, see how it's, it's set up. So once you take yours off, on the other end, um, it's flat. So this fits flush. So four bolts goes in there. These two bolts come off. I already mounted that. So now what I'm gonna do is mount the spare tire and see if this works. Okay, but it's a pretty simple process. So hopefully this helps somebody. That's how you place your hoist on your 2012 um, uh, Range Rover. Could be a little bit early in years or up to 2013. All right, folks. So that's about it. Pretty simple. All right, so I'm gonna hoist it and hopefully this works good. And I'll show you guys after it's done. But do subscribe for more contents and appreciate it. And let me know what contents you want me to uh, probably put up with the Range Rover. Thanks. All right, so a couple of things. So to get it all set up, obviously you got to get the tire in there. And what you do is, uh, one thing I recommend is just re-grease the cable so that way it makes it... Uh, better the next time you, know, you gotta have to uh, get a tire down because as I said it's a lot of crud and rust that settles in that causes them to go bad so to get it back in there um, you probably better figure this out anyway because you take a tire out this comes out one at a time so this goes in and this lever goes in as well uh, let's see I have to just let it down a little bit more 
And by the way, it was counterclockwise. It was counterclockwise to let it to lower that. Okay. As you can see. Pretty much, I mean, it's not gonna go lower because the car is already higher than expected. So, I may have to raise it up a little bit more. But you can see that uh, the spring is all the way down, and this goes in. It might need a little bit of finagling, but. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and get this in there. All right, and I'll be back. Oh, I gotta raise the tire a little bit. Anyway, all right, there you go. So I raised the tire a little bit. I got it in there, and um, just for the sake of time, because I got the car up on my left, um, I just want to show you guys maybe an easier way. I'm gonna use my impact gun I got a 22 socket now obviously you can use the tool that you have but this is just to help you see how this goes so now I'm gonna spin it clockwise all right and hopefully that should pull the tire up see there we go so it latches onto there and Get to a certain point. Obviously, make sure you got some leeway. And let's see, it's pretty much on there. Snug. All right. Now I don't want to overspin it. So what I do? I'll just take this out. Let me just set my tool to auto. So once it gets to the right torque, automatically seizes. I love my rigid, very compact. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the tool, see how snug it is. Not snug yet. There we go. Now she's tight. All right, so just hang tight. That's about it. And that's it. That's basically how you change the hoist. And then button everything back up. There's a cover here. It goes over here. Now what I do is um uh, where's my lubricant? I tend to spray a little bit of lubricant. Uh, <clears throat> so this thing can that's much better. Next time I'll have to get to it. All right, and that's about it. All right, folks. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Thank you.